All right, welcome to par four, guys and gals. Um, this has uh, been a cool journey so far. Um, you saw this last time. Now, we're going to get into the polishing aspect of this, uh, maybe in this video. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how far I get. But definitely next next video, I'll, I'll get you guys uh, in tune to how I polish. Pretty straightforward stuff. But right now, I want to do what I said I was going to do. Let's get the interior of this car painted, shall we?
clean, real smooth. Again, it was the Acryl semi-gloss black. Seems like a fresh bottle. This always does a ticket. That's always the, the way to go. So there's a couple uh, enhancements I want to add here. These two plates right there on both sides are going to be exposed when the seat is applied inside the car. So I want to make sure when you look in there you see some sort of carbon fiber um, pattern of some sort. And this stuff is really tough to see, but this is 3D carbon from Studio 27. This is the 3D small, as you can see right there. Well, let me put it this way so you guys can read it better. It's the 3D small version carbon fiber. I did a tutorial on how to carbon fiber years ago on in Scale Auto Magazine. And I was lucky enough that the editor sent me a bunch of carbon fiber sheets to use. And this was one of them. You don't clear over this stuff, okay? And since the carbon fiber in this car would have been a really low sheen carbon anyways, and the entire car is pretty much like that, I figured why not use this and give it that 3D look. Very dark and subtle, yet it'll be carbon, which makes me feel better. So basically what I'm going to do now is grab a pair of tweezers. And what I did is I took a piece of masking tape, your regular, I've got some 3M here, high performance stuff, you can use regular mat, it doesn't matter. This is what you use to make templates with for your carbon fiber. So real straightforward, I applied a piece of tape over this little square in here and traced around it and made this little piece right here out of tape. Now what you do with it is you take once you peel the tape off, you take another piece of tape and you sandwich it on the other side so both sides are covered with tape and they're not sticky at all. They're basically two sides, sticky sides, stuck together. And it gives you a template. You take this template, you lay it on the back of the sheet like so, and then you trace around it, you cut out your piece, and since this is a super simple piece, I have my pieces right here in carbon fiber. I'm going to dip them in water and apply them to the car. Now, this is all new territory for me, guys and gals, because I've never used this particular carbon fiber before. But uh, we'll see how it works. And if it works good on the side pods, it's probably the, the choice that I'm going to use on the seat as well. Now, they give you decals, by the way. Speaking of seats, they give you decals for the, uh, for the seat belts. That's not going to fly. I'll be using, uh, I think I've got a 120th set from Scale Motorsports laying around here somewhere. So when we get to that, that aspect of the seat, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I use. But what a contrast, though, between the black and the red here. I really do love it a lot. And it was easy. You know, at least there's no masking, no spraying. Uh, to me, it tells you to, to paint all the way up inside the nose black. Why? You're not going to see it. So basically, I just painted up to where the bulkhead goes in. And then I'll put the bulkhead in here shortly after I uh, get these carbon fiber pieces in. So these should be ready to take off the uh, off the paper here. And we're just going to plop them in here. Lay that one in there. Lay this one in. Now these I think are going to work really well because they're sticking really well, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now we're going to take a clean rag here, or at least a fairly decent clean rag. It's not the cleanest thing in the world, but it'll, it'll do. And we will blot this in here nice and, nice and hard here. I don't even know if this is even going to show up, to tell you the truth, when you look in the car, but 
That's the funny thing about some modelers out there. You may not see it, but the guy that built it knows it's in there, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is apply a nice thick layer of Microsol. Let's see if I can get this nice and close for you guys to see. There, see that Microsoft? You let that set now on both sides. The key with carbon fiber decals, everyone, is patience. Lots of patience. Lots of Microsol. Maybe a little heat from a hair dryer. Again, a hair dryer, not a heat gun. Please don't use a heat gun unless you really, really want to screw up your model. So we'll slather that in there. I'll apply some heat, blot it down until it's nice and conformed. And then we're going to tackle that bulkhead next. Okay, so those decals that I put on didn't work out too well. Um, Studio 27 high def carbon fiber 3D decals, no good. They are too thick, they don't uh, conform to crevices and look nice and uniform. So what I ended up using was a sheet of, I believe Model Factory Hero, gray carbon decals. Again, they're nice and dark, but not too dark. They have a light gray tinge to them. And really, they came out nice. If you can kind of glance in there, you can see them right there. Flip it over. Yeah, those work. Oh, by the way, also installed the uh, orange bulkhead after painting the steering column base. So that's in there now. So the interior is underway. Now, the next step was the seat. And I took liberties of getting that all painted up. Now this was done with a coat of Tamiya Surface Primer and a nice generous coat of the lovely Acro Semi-Flat Black. I tell you, you're going to see me use this stuff a lot, everyone, because it just, especially a fresh bot, it just goes on so nice. I mean, it looks like I airbrushed this. I mean, for the, for the most part, minimal bus strokes. And since there's decals going over it, I don't see the point in having to spray it. I mean, I just brush that on, gives it a nice finish, and believe it or not, it's tough as nails. So, the next step is I took some Tamiya masking tape before I painted the seat, burnished it into half of the seat, like down the middle. All this side, traced around it, and then carefully pulled it out, double-sided it with some of the green stuff that I had, and now I have a nice half-seat template that I can use to start carbon fiber in this thing. So again, what I do is real simple. Take the sheet, flip it over, lay this this way on the sheet. And now what you do is you lay it down and you trace it. Get it as close as, you, as possible to the edges of the pattern. There. Then you take a pair of scissors and you carefully cut it out. Keeping again as close to the pattern as possible.
this stuff seems to conform pretty nice, so I'm hoping that I can get it into the nooks and crannies and crevices with a lot of microsol and make it look nice. Okay, we'll put this aside. And we will cut here and here hopefully get this thing put in. There we are. Now, I'm going to dip it into the uh, water here. Lay it out. And we're going to start decaling this thing up. So here we go. Okay, so after applying copious amounts of microsol and heat with the hair dryer, as you saw in my sped up video earlier here, the seat is done. Now, there's a strip down the center of the seat that was supposed to be painted flat black in the instructions. Well, I've, I used a piece of uh, this, this flat black tape. This is just in, uh, some leftover stuff from uh, Top Studio, uh, MotoGP Super Detail set that I have. You know, I just cut it out the thickness. It's kind of like an electrical tape, but it's a little thinner, which is nice. 
and I applied it down the center. What I also did, as you can see here, there's the seat all finished before the decal, before the actual uh, seat belts go in it. I didn't like the sheen on it. It was a little too shiny for me, even with the decals. So I applied a light coat of Tester's Flat Lacquer Clear to give it that soft sheen, but not flat, but not too glossy look. And there's a couple spots in the floor. Those weren't intentional, but it actually looks like a little bit of wear marks where Vettel might have been moving around that seat a little bit too much. So anyhow, there's the seat done before I apply some aftermarket photo etch seat belts. Now let's just test fit this in here, everyone, and see how it looks. It just fits right up in there beautifully. And hopefully you can see it in this photo here, how cool that looks. So you've got the decals on the side, you've got the seat, now I just need to apply the seat belts themselves and start working on some other details in the interior. And then polish this thing. So that's it for this video. Uh, next video we're going to go ahead and put the seat belts in the, uh, in the seat itself. And if there's time, I'm going to go ahead and start polishing on this thing and show you my polishing methods, which a lot of you have seen in the old gravity videos I did. But I still want to show some of my new viewers out there. If you're new to the channel, great to have you, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. But that's it for this one, folks. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Mash that like button, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.